looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the upcoming week of mutt content now i typically do this video on a sunday but i pushed it to saturday today or should i say pulled it to saturday i don't really know the terminology in that aspect but i'm gonna be doing it today now the thing with the upcoming week of mutt content guys there's three promos that we are waiting on we do not have confirmed dates for any of those three, but I do know we will get word on at least one of them this upcoming week. So as you guys probably see by the title, we have golden tickets that should be upcoming pretty soon. We have team diamonds too. And of course we have the off season promo, which we all suspect is taking over the free agency promo. So I'm gonna go over some upcoming free agents, go over some guys who are still pending cards, go over some golden ticket stuff and team diamond two. Now team diamond two guys going to be a great promo, especially this late in the year. That means we're probably gonna get some banger 99 or 98 overall player. As well as, guys, Golden Tickets, of course, going to be Banger. And, of course, the offseason promo. Probably the worst of the three, but still going to be a good promo nonetheless. But let's get into this, guys. So before we get into the actual portion of the video, make sure to head down below. Subscribe. Turn on the noti bell. Comment down below. Always like the video, guys. All that stuff helps. And, of course, if you guys do need coins, always head down below to Muck Coin Bank and use code POODLE for 5% off your order. Take advantage of the discounts. Now, we're going to get into the video here. Now, real quick, guys, to start off with some Team, uh, team Diamond 2 stuff. I went over this yesterday in a video. But again, this is my upcoming week. Now, I do suspect that we'll be getting word in it pretty soon. Crayola has been referencing it for like three weeks at this point. Now, if you don't know, Team Diamonds is this right here, subcategory one, series one. So this was our Team Diamonds that started the year off. Remember Barry Sanders, GOAT running back. For a large portion of the year, he was one of the best running backs. Up until like November, December, no joke. But he was amazing, right? Now, these are the cards. Now, pretty much what Team Diamonds are, are like, um, like fan favorites per team, right? So you get like... Again, maybe Warwick Dunn or, you know, Elvis Duberville aren't Hall of Famers or maybe, you know, these cards aren't, you know, they weren't Pro Bowls their whole career, but they were great for their team. And again, these are all great guys, right? Don't get me wrong. But maybe Frederick doesn't go into the Hall of Fame, right? But he was one of the best Cowboys of all time at center, right? It's one of those things. Um, but point is, these are going to be cards that if you like this team, you know them. If you watch football during this era, you know them, right? Now, what I like about uh, Team Diamonds, like for me, like as a Giants fan, this is where we get our Victor Cruz so we got a David Deal. That's where we get our guy, our let's say Ahmad Bradshaw potentially. That's where we get our Brandon Jacobs. Those are the promos where we get the guys that may not make the Hall of Fame, may not be considered Madden legends, but they were great, phenomenal players, but they might not be considered a legend, right? That's what's cool about it. Uh, you know, I don't know exactly who's going to get what, but we're going to have a master. We're going to have some lower players. Now, for this one, it was 86, I believe, through 89, and the master was a 91. So what I'm hoping is the master for this promo will be a 99 or 98. And then we'll have, oh, I'm hoping a 99 master or 98 master. And then I'm hoping that the heroes, like the lower players, will be an assortment of players 95 through 98, right? Or 95 through 97. That's kind of what I'm hoping for here. I think that'd be super cool and would give a lot of leeway for players. And of course, what I'm hoping is they can also be powered up. Like this promo, they were able to, be, all of them could be powered up from any overall to 90. So I'm hoping that you can power up any card that comes out to 98, 99. That'd be super cool. It would make this promo a banger promo for everyone, especially theme teams, right? If you have any theme teams at this point in the year, you're essentially going to get an end game player from this promo, right? That's what's kind of exciting about this. I'm going to go over to some Team Diamond stuff over on Mudhead as well. But Team Diamonds are going to be fun. And guys, like I said yesterday, they hold value. That's an important aspect of Team Diamonds that people don't realize. Because of what it takes to actually build them, they hold value. They're not just cards you pull from packs, right? And they just, you know, they just get sold for whatever you think they're worth. They actually have a set value because, let's say Zeke's 5K, Cooper's 2K, whatever, whatever. Everything adds up. Bare minimum to make this card, it costs 30K. You might be able to get him for slightly cheaper on the block, slightly more expensive on the block, but his base value, his median, like his medium line, like his equilibrium spot, is 30k. So same thing when we get the bigger cards, you know, the 98 overall ones, their set might cost you 250k. And that is it. It's also a great investment opportunity. It's a great uh, binder clearing opportunity. Like you might have just some, you know, a bunch of cowboys sitting in your binder, for instance, right? And you can go ahead and sell them. So let me go check my binder real quick. I'll show you guys what I mean. So when you go through the binder, right, you may have had cards saved up all year. So let's go scrolling down. Sort by maybe team, right? Let's go to Cowboys in case we're, you know, that's what we're, we're working with. I have 52 total Cowboys, right? Nothing crazy, but maybe Everson Griffin makes that set. Now, Everson Griffin right now could be going for 10K. It's not bad, but what if he's in that set and he's one of the uh, one of the medium-sized players you need? He may go up to 15K. Not a lot, but if you can get an extra 3 to 5K per player and a binder full of cards like this, you never know. You may be able to go ahead and, you know, scrap up a few hundred thousand coins just from old players in your binder if you never clean them out, right? Chris... And then sometimes, guys, a, a player that's, like, rare, let's just say, like, let's say Everson Griffin, right? He has only 10 on the block. These all go. You may be able to sell that card for 30K, right? That's what happens because when everyone's going to start buying these rapidly. And then, of course, it'll be worth, like, 30, 40, 50K. 
no one's gonna buy it but there's gonna be that one or two guys that are like you know die hard you know millionaires that want want to get the cowboys player they're cowboys fans and they ask her i'll pay it like they don't care and those are the guys that you're gonna get to be able to flip your card for three to four times the value and that's what's important but enough of that guys let's head on over to the other stuff over on mudhead we're over on the free agency screen here which i did want to show you guys so these are the players that are pending or have already been confirmed so first we had jj watt right he was traded to arizona now because it's called the off-season promo not the uh you know not the free agency promo i think that jj watt may get a card right because that's considered off season so that's why i think it's called that instead of free agency which is kind of like okay so what if they sign before free agency or what if they uh get traded you know does that does that qualify so christian kirksey when uh christian kirksey went from green bay to houston mark ingram went from baltimore to houston stephen weatherly went from carolina to minnesota now the players that are pending right so he first off uh, could get a really good card mark ingram could get a you know it probably would be a bad card but it'll be a bigger name right uh, maybe Robert Alford, but moving on down. Now, these are the guys that we're going to be more concerned about, right? So starting past this, right? Philip Lindsay maybe gets a fast card, but these we're worried about. So Dak Prescott re with the Cowboys. He could get a pretty big card. Alex Smith, I doubt he gets a big card. He has his comeback player of the year. That's probably it. Now, Von Miller, that could be a phenomenal outside linebacker card. AJ Green would be a decent card. Uh, Matthew Judon, uh, Kwan Short, Melvin Ingram, Bud Dupree, Shaq Barry. These are some great outside linebackers and defensive linemen right here. Jarrell Casey we can get a pretty good influx of some defensive linemen like uh, Bud Dupree could be really good if he gets a good enough card Shaq Barrett could be really good as well we could get a Joe Thune again just like we got last year which would just be a pretty good guard I mean it's not gonna be anything crazy now Patrick Peterson's interesting because if he got a new card here it is 95 so it would have to probably be more than that so what if we got like an offseason 97 overall Patrick Peterson right that would be like an end game cornerback right there considering how good the other one was Trent Williams another great tackle that we could get Kwan Alexander, AJ Bouye, T.Y. Hilton, Davion Clowney, Eric Fisher, Yannick Ngakwe, uh, Ryan Kerrigan, Justin Simmons, Trey Turner, uh, Olivier Vernon, let's see, Kyle, uh, Kevin Zeitler, Levante David, and Deshaun Jackson, the list goes on and on, Richard Sherman, Rob Gronkowski, there's so many guys that could potentially get a pretty good card, so that's why the offseason promo could be exciting, it did say like, you know, low, medium, high, so again, we're getting influx like we may get a, you know, a Kyle Rudolph that's only, you know, an 85 overall, but we may also get a guy that's 97, 98. So the offseason promo could be cool. I don't know if it'll be this week. Again, free agency technically starts the 17th, so I think they're going to wait until about then, which, again, would fall under this upcoming week. So that's why it's going to fall under here, obviously. But that's about it for that part. Let's go to the next part, which is going to be the theme diamond. So this was one, from, like I said from earlier, just show you guys how much these prices have held. Troy Vincent, 89 overall. Like, these are some prices that have actually held throughout the year, 30K and plus, right? That's because their sets actually cost money. So these cards you could build will hold a value, right? Like they won't just drop in like a month when there's more in-game cards. They won't drop all the way. They'll drop, but they won't drop to, you know, nothingness. They will have a value to them, which like I said, like even cards like Troy Vincent at their peak, they were only selling for like 300, 280 K. And you know, they're now only 90 K. Like that's not the biggest drop off for this long, you know, this long of time. And of course you have the golden tickets. Now I don't think golden tickets come out this week. I think that they are at least touched on this week hinted maybe the solos just to get them and then they don't actually release till late march or early april but i do think you know because they're already late in the timeline right as of last march we would have known about golden tickets or at least have had them announced we would have, we had them announced back in like january but we didn't have them officially like the solos and everything till early march like march 6th i believe so of course that's another thing they are behind on i may not be behind they may just be changing the schedule this year again probably just being lazy but we'll see if they get rid of golden tickets again if they get rid of golden tickets like they did that past year before that People will riot. Like, no joke. That would be a big deal, especially because they're being entirely lazy at this point. They want nothing to do with the game. They just want set content that goes out weekly. But yeah, golden tickets are cool. Again, we get a ton of those. You guys know the deal. I'm not going to go into depth on this promo. You know, we get like 10 to 15, and then the EA devs pick a few more, and then, you know, per console, so on and so forth. Um, get to create your own player. Can't touch physical attributes. You guys know the deal with the golden tickets. Hopefully, we get some good ones. I told you some guys I want to see a Saquon Barkley or Kyler Murray this year. That would be my hope. I think there's a high chance we get a Saquon. We've never gotten a golden ticket Saquon. I feel like I could see it. But the only issue with Saquon is we have like Herschel Walker, Edger, and James. All these backs that already look like maxed out crazy. How much better can Saquon really get? And that's kind of the problem here. But again, you can boost some stats. So, depends. But that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. And if you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Coin Bank down below. Check out their prices. Use code Poodle for 5% off. Enjoy the rest of your day. Comment down below another promo you think that could be coming up pretty soon. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.